So the question today is why is everyone buying Leica cameras? Now, <laughs> I know that not everyone really is, but so many people seem to be. And wherever I look on YouTube for the last few months, I just keep seeing people talking about this Leica camera, that Leica camera, a little bit like the way that I talk about Fujifilm cameras. You know, you just kind of see all these people talking about how much they love them and the look of them and the feel and the incredible photos they're taking. And it got me wondering, is there another brand like Fujifilm that makes you want to take photographs? Because for me, the kind of um, definition of a camera that you know really does its job is if it makes you want to get out and take the pictures. If it's kind of just like a box, a bit ugly and doesn't really kind of connect with you, then it's really hard to, you know, get that passion to grab it and take a picture. Um, but if you've got a camera that really does just have that beauty in it, you're on the way already. And so it got me thinking, you know, why is it everyone is buying Leicas? So I went out and bought one. <laughs> I saw one um, on the market for a really good price. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to get one and find out for myself. And oh my goodness, it is utterly utterly beautiful i unboxed it yesterday and set it up um last night just kind of getting their settings right and everything about this camera is just made to perfection perfect precision i mean you expect that from um you know a german company you know they make mercedes and bmws and you expect it to be well built but it really really is um, right from the design um, the, the kind of um, the look and the feel, even things like this. Look at this here. This little thumb indentation here in the in the um, in the body. So your hand just sits perfectly when your your thumb sits sits perfectly in that gap when you're taking photos. Now, for those of you who don't know what this is, this is the Leica Q, and this is a legacy camera. Now, if you've been around my channel for a while you will know that I love legacy cameras. Cameras like this, the X-T1, you know, it's 10 years old now, and I absolutely adore it. I love the, um, the images, the texture, all that kind of thing. And so I like going back into brands, legacy cameras, because I think that's where you get the real DNA of the brand, because that's where they've put their heart and soul into the camera. And the cameras that come after that, they're always, you know, different versions of that first camera. And so I always think you're probably gonna find most of that heart and soul in the first one. And so this came out in, oh, there goes my lens cap. Um, it came out in 2015, I think. So it's about seven or eight years old. And it's a 24 megapixel four frame camera. It's got a fixed lens on it. So it's a little bit, I imagine this is this inspired the X100s because it's a fixed 28 millimeter lens and it's 1.7 though, so it's much got much more um, depth of field than the um, X100s. And oh my goodness, the lens, I can't even begin to explain. I've been taking a few photos with it and it's just got the most incredible um, sharpness and look and atmosphere to the photos. This lens is fixed, obviously, you know, it's not going anywhere. But if you were to buy this lens on its own, um, brand new today for one of the Leica interchangeable lens cameras, this lens is about £6,000 just on its own. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. And yet you can get these cameras for a couple of grand. So, you know, you're getting such an amazing deal when you buy these Leica Qs. Um, now, this obviously is the Q and there's the Q2 that's out now. Um, the differences are, Obviously, the Leica Q2, they've doubled the megapixels, which actually, I don't know if that's the greatest idea because you're going to get a bit more noise on that full frame sensor. Um, whereas I think the gaps between the pixels on the sensors is probably where you get more texture and more atmosphere um, like you do with uh, this early Fujifilm camera. I mean, look at this size wise. You can see they are very similar, the X-T1 and the... Um, the Leica Q, you know, they're really similar sizes. So it fits perfectly, obviously, into my lineup, into my hands. Um, yeah, so it's got 24 megapixels, 1.7 lens. It's got some really cool little features, like if you want to use the macro mode, when you turn onto macro, 
the whole of the um, the settings there changes with you, which I really like. And you can switch easily to manual focus just by turning this little button here, and then off you go. It locks back in again, and it's got the aperture ring obviously on the on the lens, which is great. And some very simple buttons. It's not very customizable. If you look at the back, it's all very simple. Um, you've got your um, shutter speed on the top and one button there. I mean, it's so funny coming from Fujifilm where you can customize everything. And literally the whole thing is just like completely customizable to like a really no frills, sleek design. But that's part of the love. It's just got that um, charm to it. And actually where they've put the controls are actually just where I'd want them anyway. It's a really interesting taking photographs. I'm reaching already exactly for the, the right places to, to get my shots. Um, and actually, I'm super impressed with how quick the autofocus is. For a camera that's this old, you know, I would think it would have had much slower autofocus, but it's, it's really, really quick. Um, so yeah, there's just so much to be impressed with. So I'm going to obviously make a load of videos and use this camera. Um, in my photo trails and other other videos to show you more. But yeah, those of you who've got Leicas already, I'm sure there are tons of you out there watching who are already well ahead of me. Um, do let me know in the comments um, any advice you've got for me with using this camera. But yeah, I'm just really excited to have it. Can't wait to um, get out and to start using it commercially and um, for landscapes and other stuff like that. So yeah, there it is. Um, if you want to find out more about this and other things, get on with it over to photographymadesimple.uk completely free website there, full of um, uh, tutorials and uh, articles for you. Um, but yeah, have a great weekend. And uh, yeah, can't wait to show you more of the Leica. Cheers.